The Magnetic Timeline. Apple people love it, Adobe people hate it. Now I learned video editing on Final Cut, so I love the Magnetic Timeline. But before I learned what I'm about to show you, even I, at times, would think the Magnetic Timeline was the devil. I, anytime I wanted to delete a clip or move a clip or anything like that, my entire project would just squish together. Now if you had all your clips synced to some music, well that could be disastrous. So today I'm going to show you a simple trick that allows you to just disarm the magnetic timeline properties really whenever you want, whenever it serves you. It'd be like a superhero being able to walk through those really powerful magnetic forces. That was dumb. Let, let me just show you. All right, so here we are with our basic timeline situation, right? Now the problem is, is if we take something in this magnetic timeline and we want to delete it, well, this is what happens, right? It just screws up the entire thing, so that's not going to work. If we want to take something and say move it over here, we can't just drag it and move it because that screws up the entire timeline as well. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our index finger or whatever finger, birdie finger if you want, and we're going to hit P. That's going to bring up the position tool. Now that we've hit the P tool, we can take this clip and we can literally drag it up and over here wherever we want to. Now you'll notice that we've taken the clip over and instead of screwing up the timeline, all it's done is put in a little blank there. Let's say we want to delete that clip altogether. We don't even want to use that clip. One thing we could do is click it, drag it up, and then delete it. Yeah, that works, but that's an extra step. We're gonna not worry about that extra step. Now, remember, this is important that we still have the position tool selected to be able to do this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to select our clip. We're gonna hit Shift, Delete, boom, clip is gone. That's pretty cool, right? So those are two great ways to be able to navigate sort of in the middle of the timeline without screwing it up. But what happens if you want to put something on the end, like way on the end, like it's not even connected to the rest of the timeline in. So here we are at the end of my clip. Let's say this music was longer and I've got like a big build up crescendo kind of thing right here. I wanted to just put my clip right in here, but I haven't quite gotten there yet, right? Make sure you have that P hit before you try to do this or it's not gonna work. We're gonna go up here, I'm gonna grab this clip, just gonna drag it and look what it did. Boom, it automatically created a little blank there for me. So I have all the space to come in and fill in later, but I know that I have this clip here in the crescendo and I know that's where I want that. I kind of like these little orange life rafty hard drives. They're, they're just my favorite. I'm kind of a collector. All right, that's it for today's tip. I hope it was as mind blowing to you as it was to me when I first learned it. Look, it I admit, it was an embarrassingly long time before I learned how to use the position tool. So hopefully after watching this today, you won't have to deal with the same embarrassment as me. Hit that like button if you like the video, and if you wanna see more of these kind of things, stick around, subscribe, and hit the little bell notification so you know when to post more videos like every other YouTuber tells you to do. All right, that's it. Yeah, that's right, I'm just talking to my crotch.